get started with the basic uh, uh, one liners so these are the basic one liners so let us see what is the most common tumor of the bone so overall what is the most common tumor of the bone in adults when that is the question the answer would be secondaries though secondaries i mean it is metastasis which are very common then your primary bone tumors right so this is the first thing which you have to understand in case of tumors so the secondaries are most common and secondaries are the one which are seen in case of your uh, bone tumors so secondaries where there are common so the most common bone which produces this secondaries are your vertebrae and in that the thoracic vertebrae is the one which shows this secondaries right so the thoracic vertebrae are the one and what are the primary sources of the secondary so the primary sources are uh, first is your breast breast in case of your females then the prostate in case of your males right and then you have your lungs and kidney and thyroid so these are the uh, five areas from which the primary spreads to the secondaries right so this is breast prostate lungs kidneys and thyroid so what is the another important thing which i want you to remember is from the prostate from the prostate usually the secondaries are gastric right and from the kidney and the thyroid these are lytic and then from the lungs these are mixed so this is also a high uh, highly important point which you have to remember right so this is the plastic uh, because the nature of the the nature of the uh, uh, tumor which is present there so the period the nature of the tumor whether it is plastic lytic is also very important for us to come to the, come come to the diagnosis so this is about the uh, most common tumor then coming to the most common primary bone tumor so when i say the word primary bone tumor it is your multiple multiple myeloma so this origin is not from a bone but it is the plasma cell it is also called as plasma cytoma hemato hematopoietic cell right so plasma cell that is multiple myeloma which is the most common primary bone tumor then coming to the most common benign bone tumor this is osteochondroma so the most common one which you see is osteochondroma but please remember this is a tumor like condition but it is not entirely a tumor if there is a catch in the question regarding the tumor like condition then you have to be careful so this is the bone condition which is most common that is the osteochondroma then let us see what is the most common bone tumor so i mean here this is a primary and a non hematogenous source right a non hematogenous source then the answer of this would be your osteosarcoma osteosarcoma is the most common primary and this is the malignant bone tumor which is most common and here what is the most common site where tumors are commonly seen and that site is your knee joint so around the knee joint there are various tumors which are commonly seen so that is the site goes uh, site is uh, the is the knee joint so these are certain one liners which you have to always remember for answering the question so these are the important uh, high yielding one liners okay and now let us see the important tumors so now if you remember these tumors can be of a benign variety so i need not tell you what is a benign and a malignant i hope you are all very thorough and you can analyze yourself what is a benign and what is a malignant tumor so benign is a uh, benign is a tumor where it is localized it is uh, specific to one site and the most important thing is there is no metastasis in case of benign but malignant is characterized by this metastasis right metastasis is seen in case of malignant tumors but when you come to this bone tumors so in case of bones you have one intermediate variety which is called as benign but it is aggressive right so this intermediate variety is very much important this is also benign but this is aggressive which is somewhere between the benign and the malignant so these are the tumors which you have to remember so once uh, you complete this table you can be very confident that you will understand 
a very important uh, concept regarding the tumors right so let us try to fill up this uh, tabular form now so starting from the osteogenic so you have understood what is benign so this is benign where you have all the features of the benign and malignant where there is no metastasis one important feature and uh, that malignant and intermediate between these two is called a benign aggressive so what i mean by aggressive that means it is recurrent so the aggressiveness of this is characterized by its recurrence right so that is the uh, 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 what i mean by an intermediate form so now let us see what are the various tumors which are present so coming from the osteogenic so based upon the cell of origin these tumors are divided into various parts right so first is the osteogenic that means it is a bone forming tumor so bone forming tumor which is benign is your osteoid osteoma so if you want to write anything about osteoid osteoma you have to first start as it is a bone forming tumor which is a benign tumor right and then coming to the malignant it is osteo sarcoma so this is the most common malignant tumor and it is a bone forming tumor so when i say bone formation is seen in this tumor that means on the x rays you can see that there is a increased bone formation around the tumor right and what is the intermediate of this the intermediate of this is osteoblastoma it is also bone forming but the intermediate variety but remember this is an aggressive this is benign but aggressive form and coming to chondrogenic so chondrogenic if you see it is a cartilage forming so the name as it suggests it is chondrogenic so here you have two that is your uh, osteochondroma you have your osteochondroma and then you have your enchondroma enchondroma so these two are chondrogenic and coming to the malignant variety you have your chondrosarcoma chondrosarcoma and what is the intermediate aggressive that is your chondroblastoma chondroblastoma so these are osteogenic and chondrogenic we have finished and now next we have what is called as the jain cell rich so jain cell rich is only one that is your jain cell tumor and remember uh, uh, please remember that this jain cell tumor is a aggressive variety so it is a benign but it is an aggressive type of tumor right and then we have your vascular so coming to the vascular this the benign one is your hemangioma hemangioma and your malignant is your angiosarcoma hemangioma and angiosarcoma so you can find the words angio that means vascular then coming to the interesting variety that is a notochordal so notochords are the cells uh, which are from derived from child right derived from during your birth so that is the notochord and the only malignant tumor we have which is derived from this notochordal cell is called as your chordoma and then you have your neuroectodermal tumors this is an interesting tumor which is called as ewing's sarcoma so this is also malignant so both the notochord and the neuroectodermal tumor are present only as a malignant form that is your chordoma and your ewing's sarcoma then there is one variety which is called as undefined variety so undefined variety that means these are tumor like conditions tumor like conditions and in that the benign variety what we have is your simple bone cyst or a unicameral bone cyst right this can also be called as a unicameral bone cyst right and then the intermediate variety in this is your aneurysmal bone cyst aneurysmal bone cyst so please remember that this is also a aggressive type of uh, type of a tumor and in malignant you have what is called as adenoma or in the mandible it is called as ameloblastoma adenoma or ameloblastoma <coughs> so that is the uh, variety which is usually undefined that is a tumor like a condition and then the last one we have what is called hematopoietic and we already know that is the plasmacytoma or your multiple myeloma multiple myeloma so these are all the tumorous conditions all the bone tumors put in one tabular column which we are going to learn each one in specific so for that you should have a knowledge of what is a bone forming tumor what is a cartilage tumor uh, what are the cell of origin of different types of tumors